Okay, solving quadratic using quadratic formula. First, for quadratic formula, we need our a, b, and c. Now we can see that um, the the c right here is negative seven, and the b right here is negative six. But there's no number here for a. So what we do for a, if there's no number, we consider the number one. Okay, so no number means that is one. So don't use the letter X here for A. Use the number one. All right, so first B goes here. So that's negative six. Then negative six again. A goes here, which is a one. And then C goes here, which is a negative seven. And down here goes A, which is one. So what we have now is that this equals two negatives will give us positive. Sorry, let's go ahead and write everything out. So what we have is a negative, negative six, the plus or minus square root. Negative six squared is actually negative six times a negative six. Then we have a minus four multiplied with a one, multiplied with a negative seven. Okay, let's do all the multiplication first. Oh, sorry, and then you have two times one. All right, so first we'll do all multiplications. So we have a negative and negative, which is positive six. In here, we have a negative six times negative six. That's a negative times a negative. So that's gonna be positive 36. Here, we have a negative four times a one times a negative seven. So we're multiplying two negatives. So that's gonna be positive. And then four times one times seven is gonna be 28. So we have 28 here. And then down here, we have two times one, which is two. So all multiplications are done here, 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 and here. And so um, what we're going to have is now we're going to do our adding or subtracting. So this is going to be 28 plus, uh, sorry, 36 plus 28. And that's going to be a 64 all over 2. And then the square root of 64 is going to give us a 8. And that's over 2. Now it splits into two pieces. We have x will equal 6 plus 8 all over 2. And here we'll have x equals 6 take away 8 all over 2. So staying on the left side, 6 plus 8 is 14 over 2. And 14 over 2, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that's one of our answers. And here what we have um, we have um, 6 and negative 8, which is going to give us negative 2 all over 2. And negative 2 over 2 is going to give us negative 1. Okay. Next, we simply have the formula we're going to solve with. So our A will be 4, which is right here. Our B is going to be negative 11, and our C is going to be negative 3. And we're going to use this order right here. So X is going to equal the opposite of B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C. And on the bottom will be 2 times A. And you'll notice that everywhere there's a letter B, B, A, C, A, we have parentheses. So now we're going to fill those parentheses with their appropriate numbers. So let's put the numbers in, show you what that looks like. All right, so B is going to be negative 11, negative 11. A is going to be a 4. C is going to be negative 3. And below we have A, which is 4. All right, let's put all this together. Okay, so let's say we have negative 11 here and negative outside plus or minus. So we have negative 11 here times negative 11 there. And then minus 4, 4, and negative 3. Okay, and all over 2 and 4. Now it's time for us to do all our multiplications. Okay. 
Here we have multiplications of negative times negative, which is going to be positive. Here we have negative 11 times negative 11. That's going to be positive, 121. And here we have a negative times a negative here. This is going to be two negatives, which is positive. And we have 4 times 4 times 3. Um, I know 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 times 4 is 48. So we'll have a 48 there. And 2 times 4 is going to be 8. Okay. So we have 11 plus or minus. And we're going to add these two. So we're going to get 169. And that'll be over 8. And then we'll take the square root of 169. And we're going to get 13. All right, now let's split this up into two pieces. We have x equals 11 plus 13 all over 8, and x equals 11 take away 13 all over 8. And if we add the 11 and the 13, we're going to get a 24 over 8. And 24 divided by 8 is 3. Here, we're going to have 11 minus 3, which is going to be a negative 2 all over 8. And we can divide both of these by 2, which will give us a negative 1 over 4.